Did you fart? Did you fart? Did you fart? You farted, didn't you? You farted. Ooh. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new around here, hi, my name is Missa, and I don't speak to you when you bark at me. As you can see by the title, today's a little bit of a different video from me, because this is my new rescue pup. Vincent and I thought I would show you him, tell you about him, how I got him, what what it's all about. Um, so I'll just talk about him and I'll show you some clips of him. I've had him for 24 hours as I'm filming this right now. Um, I can show you some clips of him when he first came to my flat last night. We came home quite late. He is just so cute. Yeah, we got home quite late last night and he's settling in quite well i would say we've had a couple of accidents so far but nothing to worry about i think it's just nerves he's he's never been here before anyway so i'll tell you all about him so yeah this is vincent vincent ross he is a pug cross we're not sure what he's crossed with if you guys have any idea please let me know um i would say he's more like a retro pug like a pure pug but apparently he's not um, Vincent, did I say he was five? He's five, his birthday is in August and he loves bum scratches, doesn't he? I got Vincent from the SSPCA in Glasgow. They've got a few locations in Scotland, obviously, and he actually wasn't up for adoption the day I went and visited him. He knows I've got treats in my pocket because he was supposed to be rehomed with his sister, which was a French bulldog. However, his sister got very, very sick in the kennels and therefore they were apart for many many weeks and actually vincent he's very rude he's very food motivated vincent actually did better when he didn't have his sister with him all the time you can't do that sit nice sit nice good boy so yeah when i actually inquired about him they just decided that actually he could be rehomed on his own that is naughty that is naughty naughty that he could be rehomed on his own and so I got my first introduction with him, we played for a bit, then I had my second visit with him and then yesterday I got to pick him up. What did you look shattered? He is, I would say, they're not actually sure if he's house trained, I would say he is house trained because when we visited my sister's house yesterday on our way home, he did wait until he was let out into the garden before he did a poo. But like I said, he has done a poo inside and a pee. But I think that's just first night nerves of being here. And even if it carries on for a while, it's something that I can train and work with him on. And yeah, I'm not gonna be mad at him because he had a, an accidental poo, obviously. The adoption process was quite easy, I would say. Um, I just, you have to visit their dogs three times before you can take them home. That's just so that they can see you with the dog, see the dog with you, make sure that you're both kind of comfortable with each other. Come and sit down here. So yeah, you have to visit them three times. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a bad throw. Um, just to kind of make sure that you get on well with each other and all that, and uh, yeah, then I was able to take him home. He, he cost me 215 pounds to adopt, which was on the higher end, I think, just because he's quite a nice, breed um i'd say most of the rescue dogs in the centers that i saw were staffies and um, because he's a bit of a i don't know what's the word to say it because i like mutts i don't go for breeds um because he's a bit of a better breed i don't know how to put it it's not what i mean he was on the more expensive side he is neutered all his jabs and vaccinations and worming and fleas are all up to date i've got him booked in for his first vet appointment tomorrow because you might notice by looking at you that, oh, let me see. Vincent is a little bit of a chunk, a clump, you could say. He is, sit down, good boy. He is overweight and he um, really needs to lose some of it. So yeah, I'm gonna take him to the vet tomorrow and see what they think I should be feeding him. I've bought him some uh, low calorie or healthy dog food for the time being, but I'll see what the vet says tomorrow and put him on a, a nice regime. He also gets walked currently. I mean, I've had him one day, three times a day, I plan. First thing in the morning, last thing at night, and then once in the afternoon, as well as many, many long walks on days where it's just a nice day and he wants to potter around.
I'd say so far, personality wise, he is so, so playful. He is five, like I said, so it's a really nice age. And also, with him being overweight, I was a bit worried that he'd be quite lethargic all the time, but he is so full of beans. Beans, beans, beans. He loves to play, he loves to chase his squishy toys, which he's got up on the sofa. Go ahead. Good boy. Also very very needy and clingy towards me stop it naughty boy naughty boy no 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 if I go from one room to another he will just follow me and he'll just lie at my feet and when I'm in the car he puts his little foot over onto me he's very food motivated so if there is any treats he will be very nice to you he will sit nice he will lie down we don't know Paul yet and he's just starting to learn since last night what go to bed means He's also a little bit funny with his harness. He doesn't like putting his harness on. I've ordered him a fancy, expensive little man, Julius K9 harness, because I'm told that they are the best for pugs because they don't restrict their throat in any way. Um, that won't be here till Friday. I've just got an email. Um, but he doesn't like getting his harness on at all. He actually growls quite a lot when you try and put his harness on. And he runs away as well when he sees you pick it up. His fear of the harness is overriding his food motivation. It's okay, come on. Just take a step towards it and I'll give it to you, I promise. Good boy, you see? You're trying. You're trying. Come on, good boy, will you try this on? I don't know if he's just not enjoyed having harnesses on in the past or what it is but he doesn't like being caught like it took me ages to put his collar on and he just won't like if i just go to grab him right now he'll just run away because he is a little frightened but once he gets his harness on he's absolutely fine that's the thing he doesn't fuss with it he doesn't try and get it off but he's very aggressive when i try and put it on Probably takes me about half an hour each time I go for a walk <laughs> to put his harness on. But I don't want to leave it on in the house because it's his outdoor thing and he needs to realise when he puts it on he gets a treat and then we go on a walk. His recall isn't great so for the time being he will be on the lead permanently. Um, yeah, he just doesn't really like coming back to you. I mean, now he's fine but if I picked up his harness he would run away and when I try and put it on he will growl. But you wouldn't bite, would you? He's a good boy and pets at home. You were saying hi to everybody. So they didn't have any Julius K9 harnesses in stock. It's okay. It's okay. So we've ordered one and it'll arrive Wednesday. And we got some more poo bags, didn't we? Oh, yes. He's a little bit nippy as well when you put on his harness, so I wouldn't like let my nieces do it. I would just have to do it for the time being. It's something that I hope just with a lot of positive reinforcement that he's just gonna be able to just step into his harness because he realizes actually, if I'm just a good quiet boy and I put my harness on, we get a treat and then we go for a walk, don't we? Yes, we do. He understands the word walk very much. But yeah, really, just so delighted with him because the size of him he's just perfect for my flat he's not a massive dog but at the same time he's not as small as a chihuahua he's substantial and meaty and he's really fun he's just great to play with take on lots of walks 
and it gives me a chance as well to explore Alawa and see a lot more of this town that I've moved to and discover the parks and all the nice walking places and also when you get a dog why do people just stop you in the street and start talking to you it's great i was like i'll make friends now people just stop me and pat him and ask about him and i just love talking about him even though i've not had him very long eh? oh you don't like my face I also bought him this jumper that I really want to put on him, but he will not let me. Will you? You want to put your jumper on? You want to put your jumper on? He's a handsome boy. Eh? But yeah, I just wanted to give you a wee short introduction to him, the process of getting him. If you've got any questions, you can let me know down below. I'm not an expert on the adoption process, but I've done it once now. Um, the people at the, the shelter were just so lovely and you could tell that they really loved Vincent and they were quite sad to see him go but at the same time they were happy that he was going to a home. Weren't they? Weren't they? Do you want to be a jumper? <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot of Vincent on my channel. I hope you like this short introduction and maybe I'll take you along to our training classes when we start them. I'm really actually quite looking forward to that. But yeah, that is Vincent, my new rescue dog. Um, any questions about him, let me know, or about the adoption process in Scotland, let me know, and I'll tell you what I know. And yeah, hopefully, like I said, you'll be seeing a lot more of him on my channel, and because he's only five, I'm going to have him for a very, very long time, which I'm looking forward to. He's just going to be my best chum. Okay, anyway, I'll see you in my next video, which will be makeup related, but, but if you want to see more of Vincent, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Leave a comment and give the video a thumbs up if you'd like to. Eh? Paw? Paw? Can you do paw? I don't know if you can do paw. Paw? <laughs> paw? Don't think we can do paw. Anyway, that's it for today. And yeah, I'll see you on Friday on the flip side. Bye, Vincent. Say bye. You want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? A walkie? Walkies? Walkies?